two. <clears throat> we are live. <laughs> Jamie Hello. and Elena Tyler's in the building. Yes, we in the building. How's it going? It's going. How's it going with you? It's going great. We got the raindrops in the building. We got Sharita Grant, who said Jamie is the sassiest housewife over here. <laughs> oh, don't say sassy, man. Don't use that word today. Sassy today. Don't sassy. And if, no, no, no. We're going to we gotta, we gotta keep it cute. Nikki Piles said raindrops. Make sure we hit that subscribe button. Thank you, Nikki Piles. I am so happy. Yes, Nikki that arena and jamie have invited me on their live tonight to recap another amazing episode of love and marriage dc so last week i had the pleasure of being on winter not yeah winter and ashley's youtube so i'm happy tonight to be with the tylers so we're going to have a conversation. You guys can lead it. So I'm in the hot seat tonight, which is different. Okay? I know that's going to be different for us because we're so used to you hosting and leading the conversation, asking all the questions that everybody well, you wants know, to know. Well, I, I got, got a question. question. This oh, is, look, he's this, already this, ready for this it. Party started, Jamie has been ready since he opened Jamie, have you been drinking in that brown? Listen, it. Jamie has been fighting with the Twitter trolls and the cast members. He's been on 1,000. Well, not fighting, but he's been going back and forth on Twitter. Carlos, you know how he does. I do. I do. Uh, uh, Twitter. No, Twitter was on fire this afternoon. I'm, I'm doing other stuff, promoting other shows I have, and I see Love and Marriage DC at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Going ham and cheese with a slice of avocado, some grits with the government cheese sprinkled on, on top of it with some sugar. And I'm like, it ain't even eight o'clock yet. So what is going on, Jamie? You have a lot to say. Let's just go there. I want to know, what, what is your definition of accountability? That's the first thing. <laughs> yeah, it ain't down in that goddamn silver house. And I need you to, I want your input on that. You've been, you got the real footage behind the scene. You know all the ins and outs of these scenes. And what is your take on the sweep? I want your honest opinion on what you saw. And Carlos, you've seen the unedited versions. I know you have. We're going to talk about it tonight. <laughs> We're going to talk about it. Yeah, you've seen this everything. Because we, we keep it at 100 tonight, brother. I, first of all, I'm the one who keeps it a buck all the time, okay? So my thoughts on the suite was this. <laughs> it was great television. <laughs> Let, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. It was, it was fascinating to watch, right? <laughs> um, look, I also think... It's, it, 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 it goes, I, I, and I said this to um, Ashley last week. I did not know the degree of the sort of dislike that they had for each other. <clears throat> so when my showrunner, who doesn't like his name to be out there, so let's not say his name, he's very private, as y'all know. So when my showrunner and my team was like, um, Ashley doesn't want the petties to come to the wizards game i'm like is it that deep because because i've been doing this for almost 20 years so i know people have an issue look at winter and ashley they're now bosom buddies so i oh, always no. knew that hello no we stop cut it allegedly stop it we'll cut that what happened buddies? i need one of them are you kidding me no, I, I didn't even I didn't answer the question yet. Okay, go ahead. We'll save that one. Go ahead, keep going. Yeah, y'all see that's the thing. Y'all want to cut me off? I, I I haven't even asked the question yet. So my oh, point I is, I don't want no problems. I see, like you wanna, you wanna, you, you wanna, 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 you wanna,
back up. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> Y'all treat me like my name is DJ Quick um, Los or something. Okay. So I'm saying all of this to say, okay, had I known that it was that deep, I would have been like, well, y'all need to like be separated. So what I saw in this suite was definitely a group of people who really don't like each other. And when it came to Ashley and Clifton and Joy, what I saw was a lot of animosity towards people. We know that Ashley has a big personality, right? Um, we all know that Clifton has a big personality too, right? So are we going to agree there? We agree. Yes, we agree to that. Okay, okay. So we know that Joy is, Joy is like the meek one. Joy is, don't, don't start, no one be none, mm -hmm. right? So with all of that being said, what I saw was two people, Ashley and Clifton, who definitely were antagonizing each other. Okay, yeah. so that, that, that's what I saw. They, yeah. they, it, it's one of those things where they both knew what to say to each other to get a rise out of each other. And, and that's what I saw. Clifton and Ashley <coughs> both knew what they were doing at the same damn time. But do you know what happened before that conversation and it escalated into that? What you happened know? before? So when we got to the suite, when Joy and Clifton came in and said hi to everybody and sat down, was stood behind us, I was sitting next to Ashley, right next to Ashley. Ashley was sitting next to her husband. I could hear her husband, Quicksilver, saying, no, baby, he did not say that. Jealous. She said, you said I'm jealous of your wife. Quick said, no, baby, I did not say that. No, he said, no, baby, he didn't say that. Baby, 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 he didn't say that. Rewind the tape. Rewind the tape. That's, that's the footage that did that. not make it. And she said, Be And I said, I said, Ashley, your husband is telling you he didn't say that. I was telling her that. I said, your husband is telling you right now he's not, he didn't say that. She said, I don't care. Did you say I'm jealous? I'm jealous. I tried to stop it right there. I said, your husband is sitting next to you saying that's not what he said. Can you confirm or deny that? Well, so this is the thing, and I want my audience to know this too. I don't watch raw footage, just so y'all know. There, no, no owner of production company on my level is watching raw footage of er y'all tape twenty scenes a week, right? right? I have, a, you know. So what comes to me, just so you guys know how how it works, as the owner of the company, I get to see edited footage of episodes that comes to me first. Mm -hmm. So I don't see raw footage. Y'all shoot Ooh. 20 episodes a day. That Wizards game was, what, three hours? I'm not sitting at my in my cloth with all these shows that I have watching three hours of one scene and, and, and like these with it, right? right? So what comes to me and, and, and networks and everybody else are edited footage. So that's why I'm saying to you guys, I didn't know that. But that's why I'm happy we're having this conversation. I didn't, I didn't know that. And can I also say this too? Because I saw the comments and I also saw the cast saying, Raina and Jamie just stood there and didn't do anything. Let me say this. I was the only one, the only one that tried to calm Ashley down. Although it didn't show, I'm the one that took her out in the hallway to calm her down. I was the only one that said, call her husband now. Call Quicksilver with somebody got a phone. Call her husband and tell her husband to get up here now. I said, Ashley, your husband is going to be upset with you. I said, because he's already upset. He left mad. That's why he went down. When he, so when Quicksilver left while he was Joy upset. and Ashley were outside, he left because he was upset? He was already upset. He was upset because he wanted to have a good time watching the game. And he saw his wife acting out. And he left. And the the the, um, the argument between Ashley and um, Clifton escalated. I looked at her. I said, your husband is going to be upset. He's already upset. I said, Ashley, let's go outside. Let's go out in the hallway. She was still going. I said, Ashley, look at me. Let's go in the hallway now. She finally was like, okay. She went in front. I went behind her. And we were out in the hallway. 
So and for them to say, I didn't do anything, I was the only one trying to get everybody to, to stop. <laughs> when you took Ashley in, into the hallway, what did you say to her? I kept telling her, I said, look, your husband is upset. I said, please don't do this. I can't remember verbatim what I said to her, but I was trying to get her to calm down. It took a lot to get Ashley to calm down. But while we were out there in the hallway, we kind of got into it. I got into it with Alicia. It was chaos in the hallway, like complete chaos. And by that time, Jamie and I, we were just ready to go. It was just too much. Yeah. So going going back to what look I can't help myself I'm asking questions so going back to um, <laughs> the Wizards game what because obviously Jamie you knew that there were there was tension because that's why you said like hey elephant in the room are we not gonna talk about it and and I and I want y'all to be real about this too not that y'all aren't going to be but. Did y'all even think it was that deep? Because I never thought it was that deep based on based on the information that was given to me. Did you two think it was that deep that evening prior to everything unfolding the way it did? So for me, the issue with jo Joy and Ashley, I felt was the issue. That's why I was yeah. That's why I was jokingly saying, sis, you can hear me saying, sis, my sisters, because I was at my limit of this. High school jealousy back and forth, every scene, talking about who jealous, who not, who brought who on the show. It was like, can y'all please move this forward so we can move forward? All right. When they went in the hallway, we all were sitting in there talking. Like, we like, okay, good. It's been two, three minutes. I think it's progress. When she came back, we were all sitting there. You could see us in the in the in the background talking. And mm -hmm. quick left, he said, I got to go down to the floor, whatever, whatever. And he's like, I'm out. And he was like, all right, cool. So we ain't thinking nothing going to happen. When she came, and I saw he said, well, Jamie ain't say nothing. When she came in there, and, and Carlos, you spoke on one of your early podcasts, and I wish I had it in front of me, about TV moments. And you were speaking on a show where these people was making moments for TV. Mm -hmm. So you spoke on that on one of your episodes. When she came in there with that energy at Clifton, my brain was like, they go to TV bullshit. So I'm literally sitting there, you see me looking, and I'm like, okay, it's some TV. It wasn't until she went berserk and was like, sassy bitch and other words that you know was said that didn't make the cut. And all that, back, that's when I tapped him like, man, don't say nothing else to her. Just come over here. That's when Joy slid in, he slid out, and that's when you see what made actual TV. So to sit there and say Jamie and Brandon was watching the game, I wasn't getting in the middle. My thing is we where, couldn't watch the game. Where is your husband? <laughs> why is why is, why is your husband not being here? Why wasn't he there? Why why don't you guys hold each other accountable for anything y'all say and do? Y'all do and say stuff and then want to control somebody's response. And every every time it's an altercation with them. Why you why do you want to blame the Tyler's when you should have been there and made sure we move that scene forward and stop trying to blame people. You left to go do what you wanted to yeah, do. I just didn't like the fact that Ashley said in this scene, in this episode, oh, they just stood there like they were watching the yeah, game. I Ashley know damn well I took her out in the hallway to calm her down and ask somebody to call her husband to get her husband back upstairs so he could deal with his wife. Exactly. So what happened after everything transpired? So when the cameras and the crew left, what happened after that? We don't, we left before the camera and crew. We got out. Of home? Oh yes. I had my event that night. We left and went. To oh, we house. we left like probably five minutes after Joy and Clifton got put out. <laughs> she was <laughs> like, telling her telling us to get yeah, out. Yeah, she was like everybody leave. They kicked y'all out too. And Even the press out too. Let, Carlos, let me tell you this. Our executive producer, love him. He looked at me and said, "Irena, help me." Yes, he sure did. He was because we he, were like he was like a we couldn't believe man. he, he was couldn't, like I don't know he couldn't he 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 didn't know what to do he said he looked at me in, in his serious he wasn't playing he wasn't joking he looked at me and said Irena please help me and that's when I was like this is a mess it was chaos and I'll tell you this so I, I, I want to say for the record so because again because you know people love to say y'all knew what y'all was about to get. 
I want y'all, because obviously y'all live it. Y'all live it every day. I live it miles and miles away, child. But y'all live it every day. Y'all do agree that prior to them having the conversation, all three of us did not think it was that deep. I Meaning, didn't think it was that deep. Right. That's why I was shocked. I mean, I did have a shock. We look all were shocked. Face yeah, face. I just wanted to make that clear because you know how people are. Y'all, y'all knew it was that deep, and y'all wanted some good TV. No, if, if I would have thought for, and let's have a real conversation. I think if all three of us thought for one second that that escalation was a possibility, then no, we would not have suggested like, oh, yeah, well, yeah. Right, so you guys didn't think so either. I think we all thought like, okay, it, have a conversation. Not say y'all gonna kiss and make up, but let it be what it's gonna be. I, I, I didn't think in a million years that it would get to that level. No, and that's why I said in this episode, in my confessional, I thought that they were going outside to have a peaceful conversation because I didn't think it was that deep. I was like, okay, good. They can come back and it's gonna be peaceful. I didn't hear any commotion. So I thought they were okay when they came back in. But then next thing you know, Ashley was going off on uh, Cliff Fence. I was like, oh my God, what is happening right now? So, Irena, there is conversations happening on the show mm -hmm. that Ashley feels hurt by you. So you saw tonight's episode. She came to the realization that she was hurt by you because she felt like you know, you two, Jamie included, y'all were like an, an extended part of her family. Y'all would hang out at each other's homes every day. And one thing I I know before <laughs> before the show started, you said what? it wasn't okay. No, it was here. It was there. not. <laughs> Somebody. Whoa, that's semantics. Y'all were <laughs> y'all are yeah, like, I think she for a birthday or a cookout. Yeah. Like, we just but it wasn't else. like we were just hanging out every day. I'm not that type of girl. I'm not that type of girl that would sit over another girl's house just to drink, smoke hookah, play cards, or do stuff like that. I'm just not that type. I've never been that girl. My close friends know that. Is that why I'm you know I'm going to slip under my husband, but it's never going to be a fe another female. I'm just never. I'm not that girl. Is that why you did not go over Ashley's house when Winter was over there and you were invited? Yeah, I'm not going why didn't you go? Oh, let me tell you this, Carlos. So the scene that we just watched today when Ashley and Winter and I had that conversation at the seafood restaurant, before Ashley walked in, Winter and I had a, a scene. We had a conversation. And Winter and I had a deep conversation about her going on live, talking about me and my family. And I told her, I said, look, before Ashley comes, this was filmed. Okay, Miss Hillary. Before Ashley shows up, let's talk about this. I said, we cannot move forward if you're going to still go on YouTube or go on your lives or blogs or Twitter and talk about me and my husband. You know, you say in one breath, we're cool. Let's move forward. We're going to be cordial. I like everybody. And then two days later, you're going on a live talking about Raina and Jamie's doing this. And I heard Raina got fatter in her back, you know, just making up and saying all kinds of stuff. So I said, hey, Winter, we're not going to do this. I said, in order for me to move forward with you, you got to stop it. But that didn't air. Do you think Winter is a pick me? I think so. What do you think, Jamie? Absolutely. Because oh, Winter, still, Winter still knows what she knows about Quit and whoever this girl was from Reunion. She still know that. She just ain't talking about it no more. And that's why I feel like her presence on season 2B is what it is. It's like, why are you here? Like, I'm just being a honey with you. Like, I, you watch the scene just like I watch her. Like, her, her thing was messing with the men and the marriages and all that, which made her, who's her name, her, her uh, name, my household name. Now she done, oh, I'm just, I'm not bothering yeah. nobody. I feel now like there's like nobody else left. So why not just hang with Winter? That part. I, I said it. <laughs> Linda V is asking, so Ashley was Irena's friend, but Irena wasn't her friend. I was her friend until she started acting like we were in kindergarten. So what I wanted to ask, what, I mean, talk about was this. When I cast the show, obviously Monique and, and Chris were, I built the show for Monique and Chris, right? 
And then they suggested the Tylers, the Silvers, and some other people. And then I said, I want the Silvers and the Tylers. Can you say that again? Because that's no, I won't. So <laughs> who picked the Pettys? Say oh first of all, no, 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 because we addressed it at the reunion, and I need people to watch the reunion. No, did we? Yes, we did. We had a whole conversation about it at the reunion. I well, don't like it. Did we say yes? Y'all right? talked about it wrong. We talked about it at the reunion, and it, it gets addressed who chose the petty. Right. No, the thing is this. I tell that to say when I selected the Silvas and the Tylers, a large part of the reasons too that you guys were se were selected, you know, besides being great and beautiful and 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 rich. Um, and messy. I enjoy. <laughs> hey, Jamie, I enjoyed the friendship that um, you guys had as couples. I know at the time y'all were best friends, but I love the history of you guys because DC is like Atlanta, where mm -hmm. the, in the nightlife scene, we know each other, but we don't really know each other that deep, right? right. But what we saw after season one, and even during season one, Irena, and I'm being very real here, mm -hmm. everybody did see this lovely friendship between you and Ashley. And Ashley said from the, from the get-go, you know, I'm really big on the word friend. So we're friends, you know, like without the D, that whole thing. And when she gave you the D, I remember being told by the producers, like, yo, Ashley gave Irena the D. And I'm like, this is such a beautiful story of real friendships. Because in real life, I know for a fact that you two love each other, right? Where did things go wrong, though, in your friendship with her? Because it started out to be something beautiful to watch and now based on what we see on twitter you two aren't friends at all and it's upsetting to me and my raindrops so i think it went downhill after christmas eve eve things never was right with our friendship after christmas eve eve um what i did not like is the fact that she approached me saying i went to go check on joy and the fact that she was like get the fuck off of me like, I don't have friends talk to me like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no one should be talking to their friend like that. Who cares who I went to check on first? You know, so that kind of bothered me. I know it bothered her because I didn't go check on her first. But things in our relationship just went down here. Like, it never was the same after that. I don't care if we, uh, if I went to her house or she came over here. It just was not the same. You could just tell it was just off. So it hasn't been, it just wasn't the same after that. She felt a certain type of way about me um, picking Joy over her to check on her first. And I felt a certain type of way about her trying to like fight me in her house. <laughs> so I just, you know, it just haven't been the same. And, and Jamie, for you, you two, you and Ashley had this brother sister relationship. Um, where did things go wrong for you? Is it that because my wife has an issue, I'm going to stick beside my wife and not, you know, continue a friendship with her? Nah, for me, I think we went down from social media, same shit, arguing over Twitter. Um, that girl, Angela, that's, that um, made with them, made it, yeah. She was, she would, so you know the live tweet thing. You know, I was new to all this whole live tweeting and reality TV. So they say live tweet, go back and forth with the cast, get the fans engaged. So naturally, when we're watching the show, if Quick do something wrong or she do something wrong and I like and I say something, I'm live tweeting. We can go back and forth. We understand that. But this girl would just literally keep on talking trash to me like we ain't know each other. And I'm like, I, you know, Jack, he's going to respond at some point. Like, I'm like, come on, Sean, chill out. Like, the cast is doing what we're supposed to do. But you just keep on, keep on. Little Jamie this and quick this. Like, it's like enough was enough. So I, I I said something to her on Twitter. And I think she did too. Like, you gotta chill out. Like you're doing too much. And and we got back and forth into it. And then I said something that rubbed Ashley wrong. And then she said something about Lil Jamie again on Twitter. Then, we got into it about that, and then it was over with. After that, it was now. I mean, like, like the world ended. Like, we just 
It's beefing. And, and, and it hasn't stopped since March of last year. And because of their beef, Ashley and Jamie's beef, we were at a cookout because we live in the same area. We kind of show up at the same events. Um, we were. Yeah, at- I live in the richest black county in Maryland. Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're like maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes away from each other. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there a house available for me? <laughs> We're trying to come where you are. <laughs> We're trying to leave this area. So we were <laughs> we were at a cookout. Just get some fun, Jamie. Gosh, go ahead. Right, you know, no, no, this is important. this is important. I know, Jamie. Jamie, this is this is this is Jamie's moment in his words. I told you for one thousand. I know. I'm asking yeah, I'm a Jamie Tyler child. I'm in a great mood right now. Go ahead, Irena. We, we, we attend a lot of events, the same events. Um, and we were at a cookout one time. And I was with Jamie, of course, because we always together, and a couple of my friends. And uh, Ashley was there with her, her daughter. Um, and she saw one of my friends. I spoke to Ashley. She waved at me. And then I was it. And she told one of my good friends that I've known for over 15 years that she doesn't really have a problem with me. She does not like my husband. And from that point on, I felt like, you know, if you have an issue with my husband or if you don't like my husband, we have nothing else to talk about. There's no way I could be friends or associated with anybody that doesn't like my husband. It just, it's not going to make sense. And it was over Twitter. It was like, we could have argued and fussed like we was already doing anyway and moved on. But she, when you rub her wrong or you you God forbid you talk back to her, she take it to a thousand and then it ruins everything else. Cause like I ain't going, I'm I'm not gonna go after a thousand. I'm good. You you got it, show. We ain't gotta never talk again. And that's kind of where we at. Well we you saw, saw the, you saw the reunion. I mean, you saw all that energy. Yeah, and that was before the reunion. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. No, no. I I teased the raindrops last week that in the first two minutes of the reunion, you and Ashley get into it, and I'm sitting up there looking like bobblehead, like, <laughs> like I can't even say welcome to the Love <laughs> and Marriage DC reunion, and y'all like, and I'm oh, like, no. built up frustration. I mean, it was like... Well, that was from watching what's on now, too, like 24 hours before that. So he was like... Oh, hey. I know. It was it, it was definitely a lot. Okay, so in tonight's episode, we saw Quick and Ashley walking their dog, Bruno, and recapping the Wizards game, and Quick saying that, um, similar to what you guys are saying, like, obviously, if you have a problem with my wife, then you have a problem with me, he mentioned that he and Cliff Tan had a conversation and that he doesn't want to be, I'm paraphrasing, of course, but he doesn't want to be cool with Clifton if he has an issue with his wife. And Clifton only knows him as a DJ. He don't know the real quick silver because it could get, you know, I'm paraphrasing, not mm-hmm. putting words in his mouth, but pretty much, you know, insinuating it could be problems. You know what I mean? So when you saw that, Jamie, what did you think? So <clears throat> so like he said in the scene, he called me the next day, like what happened in the suite? And I'm telling him what I what I saw. I said, you know, to keep it on, I said, man, your wife had a TV moment. Like she, she came out of the hallway, walked up to Clifton, and started this whole jealousy thing. And Brian said, say you're right. The same thing we already been dealing with for the last three episodes. So I'm sitting there like, okay, this for a TV guy. So I'm sitting there chilling, and I'm telling him that I'm like, he like, nah, that wasn't for TV. That's she was, she was mad. I'm like, but it was no need. You just told her that ain't what he said. You said that in the suite, and she brushed you off like, nah, I'm burning, I'm jealous of your wife. So I'm like, why was she still? You left. Why would she go walk into this man's face after she just talked to the man wife? It didn't make sense to me. So I'm saying. This is what happened. He said, well, she said he did what I said he did not. I said she lied. So he's like, well, she said I gotta handle this dude. And I said, what? So I said, quick, don't, 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 don't do, don't feed into this. So you're gonna look whack as shit on TV. 
I you know I'm not no I'm not saying bro you gonna look corny on TV bro because when you see the footage I said you do know they filmed all this so when you see it and it, and you are gonna see it wasn't what she told you gonna look dumb on TV and that's what I told him. and he was like all right, all right I got I'll deal with it and he hung out and must have called Clifton then they had their conversation and I and and then when I got the episode that's the first one we watched then because mm -hmm. I wanted to see because I didn't even notice I didn't even realize he. Lean for I knew he didn't like kill my motherfucking face. Like I knew it was nothing like that. So I'm like, what did he do that made her go crazy like that? And then when I saw that, so he said, I'm trying to figure out what it is. And wasn't Joy standing in between them? Not initially. She okay. was beside. We all were just sitting there chilling and like, okay, Ashley having her Ashley moment. Go ahead, Ashley. And and that's kind of what it was. And when she started to cursing him out, and Alicia got cranked up. And Brent and all them but, right going there. Back, but going back to the to the to the scene. So when you saw Quick and Ashley talk about it, did you feel like Quick did not listen to you and instead chose to go with his wife? Yeah, he did not know everything I said and got on national TV and said what he said. I don't he don't know me. I'm making her comfortable. All that like that's too much, man. None of us signed up to be beefing with these people in real life. It's, it's too much. And it's over. Like I wasn't at there sit down. I saw it on TV just like you did. And he clearly said, like, was she jealous? He clearly said that. You got a million comments all over social media that heard him say that. Clifton said what he was thinking, and he said, no, like she jealous. And I feel like he never even said the damn word jealous. Cliff, uh, quick never said that. that. And then went right back and told her, he said y'all jealous with Joey and all. And I'm like, this is dumb, man. It don't make no sense, man. The whole, all these comments on all these big pages, on my posts or with your posts, they all heard him say that. But but she won't admit it. She could tell you everything said off off camera and over here and that and all this that we said. But you didn't hear your husband gaslight you and tell you it was that he said you was jealous. When clearly that didn't come out, clipped him out on TV. So that when you when. So we we saw tonight's episode, Jamie, that you said in your confessionals that you want Quick to stand up to his wife and hold her accountable. Do you think Quick holds Ash accountable to anything? Absolutely not. And and I get in in a normal world, friends out, your wife flew out of pocket, you want to take up for it. But we're on a TV show. You, if she out of pocket on TV, then you need to have that conversation on TV. You can't say, "Well, I check her at home." No, and you ain't checking her anyway. We all know that she ain't. You don't. You don't. You don't, you don't think Quick checks Ashley at home? No, no. Any, any, nobody would think that. Nobody. No. Because it's it's not. It's a lot of stuff that just ain't even that deep. He could just say, just like when they sat over here over the bed, Lord Jamie comment. She told him after a, a fuss. Like, quick, you shouldn't have said that. Stuff like that. You can say it on TV. You shouldn't have used that word. And he's like, all right, you're right. I like, that's checking your, like, he can check her in that type of tone. But do it on TV. You can't say, oh, I check her at home. Jamie's going, he's never going to agree with everything I say. He's going to tell me if I'm right or wrong. He loves me, she but he's going to let me know tell me if I'm right or wrong. To view things like her just because just we're on TV, I'm going to say, nah. I don't see it that way. And we're going to have a debate. like you Just saying. like we had a debate with Joy, the Joy and um, Carmen and Clifton situation. Jamie was like, no, mind your business. Yeah. And, and, the, of and the one behind that house, season one. I could have easily said, you right, so and so and so, we good. Seen no. But I was like, no, nah, I felt strong in how I felt, and I let her know on camera. And we talked it out, and then we hugged and moved on. So we also saw you dress up as a woman, Jamie, and you as a Manny Reina. So Jamie, um, a lot of people say, since you like being in women's business, the role is very fitting for you. How did it feel, Jamie, to have boobs and and, and, and a wig on? Did it feel natural for you? <laughs> First of all, Not I, 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 I'm my women's business. I'm, I'm we on a, we on a, we on a couple and ensemble show. How am I in women? I like we all I know. Have, talk about it. Go ahead, Jamie. Talk about it, brother. We all having these couple conversations. So the men have input 
on a couple of songs. It is what it is. I'm not trying. That's the that's the problem with it now, Carlos. A man can't have a conversation with a woman without being called sassy. This new word and the definition of sassy ain't even like they saying. It. It's like unless you she using it malicious in, in her own overtones. It don't even mean that if you look at the definition. The man is sarcastic. We all know that. She is too. That's why they don't like each other. Yeah, it's um well before I get to my next question, have you put the bob on um again, Jamie, for Irena in private? No. Look, I haven't even worn the bob. I'm at peace. <laughs> <laughs> This is my peaceful wig. This is my peaceful unit. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know, I have on Go Naked by Portia. There you go. Hasn't been out in a while. That's, 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 that's what I'm we're doing. I'm glad that's stuck. No, that's what we're doing over there. So one of the things that we also saw tonight was the fact that, you know, it was fun to see y'all role play. And, you know, that, that's one of the things I do love about this show. I do agree with you. This is a show about couples. I, and I want the world to know this because Nene Leaks has not only made people throw away their white refrigerator, Nene Leaks has made every reality fan say a man is in women's business if a man has an opinion, right? Because, I, and, I, and I want people to know the origin of where it comes from. You know, Nene Leaks told Peter Thomas you are in women's business. And obviously that show is about housewives, right? But when I came on as the EP, I mean, when I became the EP, excuse me, I made it about couples because that's the real world. Um, so unfortunately people have taken, you're in women's business, thank you, Nene, and, and applied it to situations that make no damn sense. Love and Marriage Franchise is a show about couples where they film together, they're in scenes together. Mm -hmm. I don't know what your marriage looks like. I have never met a husband who isn't in his wife's business. I don't, that's just what, it's what it is. It's what it is, especially when the couples are friends. You are in each other's business. So I do debunk the fact that people are saying, Jamie, you wore a uh, bob <laughs> and some boobs. <laughs> because you wanted to be Caitlyn Jenner, honey, and you were happy to finally play the role of <laughs> Jane Tyler. <laughs> Let me ask you a serious question, Carlos, based on what yes. you just said. How does Clifton win in that situation? He He's confronted by an angry wife whose husband just left, and she's in his face, aggressive, how does he win? It, it, it don't matter. I feel like it don't matter what he did. It was going to be a thing. With like, no, it's tough. It's tough. No, listen, it's tough. It's tough because let's have a real conversation. You guys have been married for almost what forty years? Not that long. Twenty-eight, man. 28. Oh my bad. <laughs> forty. <laughs> so now you saying we like real old? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Come on, Carlos. No, I didn't even mean it like that. No. Okay, y'all been married for 28 years, right? Yes. Okay. Y'all obviously have friends who are couples, right? Mm-hmm. Now. <laughs> the oxygen now. <laughs> Oh, is that what he's doing? I know what he's doing. Get your oxygen. Let me get me a, me a sip of something. <laughs> my rage drops know me very well. Okay. My 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 parents had couples friends. I worked on other shows with couples. In reality, and I want you guys to answer this for the audience. In reality, when you have friends who are couples, it is often that all of you guys have intense conversations at times and that sometimes the man and the female may get into it but the husbands know that there isn't there's a line not to be crossed mm -hmm. when it comes to the wives right based on tonight's episode then we'll move on from it 
do you guys think Cliff Tan crossed the line in any way? Based on this episode, no. I don't see where he crossed any lines. I mean, what did he do? He came in, he was invited to the game, right? The, the episode before that, on last week, Quick told Ashley that he invited Clifton to the game. Clifton shows up with his wife, which is expected. We're married couples. We're not going to leave our spouses at home. <laughs> We're going to bring them with us. Showed up, say hi to everyone. What did he do wrong? He moved. He breathed. He, he opened it. Like, it was nothing he could. I didn't see where it was dis disrespectful. He, he couldn't. Yeah, he, he didn't. Nothing was disrespectful. I, 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 Carlos, what do you think? I, I, I'm i still gagging at the fact that Jamie said he did nothing wrong. He breathed. <laughs> Carlos. No, listen, I definitely think this. It it is hard for a man in these situations to be vocal because I think, and Jamie, you tell me if it's true. I think sometimes the man has what he wants to say in real life, but then sometimes in his mind it goes to, oh Lord, they're gonna think I'm attacking a woman. And that's not even my intention. And I do think it's hard for men on these shows sometimes to express themselves to the opposite sex because they don't want the Twitter um, commentary to be, I'm in women's business, I'm sassy, um, you know, I'm zesty, all of those things, right? I, I do think it's hard for a man to be vocal when when women are around and sometimes they, I, they either want to Take her for the wife, like 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 Jamie would do, or they want to be the voice of reason, like, hey, sis, I'm just saying you could have handled that differently, or I think you were wrong. And I think, oh, Debbie Shorter has a good question. If he had got it in Arena's face, he didn't see her face. That's the thing. Okay. So yeah, Cliff, Cliff, now, yeah somebody would have got my face. Cliff Wilson. body, Cliff. And his Michael Strahan shoulders, right? So Cliff was like this, shoulders and beard, right? As he's talking. He was like this. Okay. Like that? He was like this. Okay, hold on. His arms was folded. Just normal. Okay. So when Cliff did this, did y'all think that was him getting in her face or he was trying to pose a threat? He definitely won't pose no threat. I, I think, I think, and me sitting there in real time, I didn't even pay no attention because I, like I said, I'm still on. Here we go with the TV bullshit. I gotta. You actually plays it up on TV? Well, apparently not. She said that's who she is, but I, <laughs> in real time, that's what I was thinking. Absolutely, because I, I understand this game a little bit, not like you, but I understand moments are. Uh, manufactured, and I felt like that was one. And I was like, "Wait a minute, this is real," because she called him out his name after that. And I'm just saying to you, my question was like, I don't know how he, unless he just flat out say, "Ashley, get out of my face," or Joy step in and say, "Ashley, get out of my husband's face." Like I don't know what he's supposed to do. He said, "I'm trying to figure out your problem" or something to that effect. And he moved. He was matching her same energy she was matching him. He didn't ball his fist up, get in her face. He ain't called out her name. Like, I don't know what he's supposed to. I know my temper is probably worse than his, but I know her. So it might have went over different with her than it did with him. And one thing I do want to say, obviously, you are a former retired police officer. So you are, you, you have been for all of your life in situations to where you you consciously and subconsciously have to um, be aware of your surroundings, right? And and if anything poses as a threat, because you you were a cop, and and that's just who you are, on badge, off badge, on duty, off duty, right? And one of the things we talk about at the reunion is at the end of the day, you are a cop, and we all did ask you, like as a cop, if you felt that there was any situation where um, these two people were going to go at it, you would have stepped in aggressively because Absolutely. of your background. Absolutely. Absolutely. I never I never looked at that initial encounter as, 
oh shit, they get ready to fight. It was like, okay, Ashley get ready to do Ashley. And then we'll see what happens. Like, I really thought when they were out in the hall, they made progress until she came back in. I think we all did. And we was like, damn, that ain't going nowhere. We saw tonight's episode, Winter and Yusha. Um, some people on Twitter have said that Winter um, not only used Ashley to remain on the show, she found her man out of nowhere. And <laughs> I'm just telling, no, this is what people have said on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, there, that's what I listen as a journalist. <laughs> hey, Tamar. Hey, Shannon Sharp. As a journalist, I, I ask the questions. People on Twitter have said that Winter is being friends with Ashley because she needs to have somebody to film with. And people who are watching her and Yusha are saying Winter clearly picked this man to have a, a play on the show. Stay on the show. It, do you two think that? Yes. One might, one yeah. might think that. And I would say they would probably be. Yes. Good. Absolutely. Yes. Tell me why. I mean, I said it from the beginning. I didn't feel like that relationship was real anyway. And because it just didn't look real to me. I could just tell. I what mean, I, I've heard a lot about, uh, I don't even want to put that out there. Let me keep my mouth closed. You heard, you heard a lot about Yusha? Let me keep my mouth closed. <laughs> Are you are you alleging that Winter Area paid is small? Everybody knows somebody. Are you alleging that Winter paid Yusha to be on the show? No, I did not say no. that. Okay. No. Are you alleging that um Yusha had a girlfriend while he was pretending to be Winter's boyfriend on the show? Um, you said she he had a girlfriend? I'm asking you. Is is oh is, so no, that's not the T <laughs> that I know. We know some people that know him and yeah, the that's not the tea. And just say that I knew the relationship wasn't real. I definitely think that she used it to have a storyline. And I think and she's she's hanging with Ashley just so that she can contact she can stay on the show. You, <laughs> you know it too, Carlos. <laughs> you what? You know it too. <laughs> now why am I in it? I'm here as a journalist. I'm only I'm only asking questions, not answer. I don't know anything. But no, I'm, I'm being real. You really do think? <laughs> you see, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki you said, follow her instructions. <laughs> Nikki, thank you, Nikki. Shit. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, you don't never stop, man. Look, so <laughs> and this is Diet Coke, girl. Bye. <laughs> yeah, it's Diet Coke. Okay. Okay. Jamie, what? What is Jamie sipping on though? Nothing. Nothing. We have the in there. I can't. Yeah, we got Invisalign today. You oh, you can look pretty for next season. Shout out to Ten. Shout out to Ten. <laughs> we ain't doing no endorsement shots out here, brother. No ads. Okay, look. Irena, Irena, come here. Come yes. here. I'm getting closer. Okay, Irena, real talk. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that Yusha was involved with other situations? I've heard that, but not from people that I know. But I did hear that. Okay. Did I heard that from, I think Winter was on Twitter saying things like that, I believe. I heard it from, I think it came from Winter. Okay, one more. Do, do you think Winter was blindsided or was Winter in on the game? I would think she, I, I would say, she, I don't know. I don't know. I would what, say. What, what you think, Jamie? I mean, you know what? She might have been blindsided. I would say that. But I also think that the relationship between her and Yusha was just for a storyline. It wasn't a real relationship. But, but. But was was Winter in on it being used as a storyline, or was she was she hit over heels in love with him, and she was blindsided? No, I don't think she was hit over heels in love with him at all. 
I think they no. both had agendas and it worked for both of them. Yeah. I mean, from what I heard about them, and I, I have nothing against them, but I know some people that know them, and the way that played out was consistent with what these people said was probably going to happen. Let's just say that. You, I'm placing on a reunion. What happened at the reunion? Carlos? I'm listening. <laughs> what happened at the reunion? You know what I'm talking about. That whole back and forth. Um, that's kind of what I heard his agenda was. So speak. Well, we can't spoil the reunion, but okay. Diamond set is giving Martella charade. Now, first of all, y'all not going to use there my... Go. There you go. Because come on now. Be for real. I mean, it was what? I don't want to spoil nothing, but 2.2 seconds? Like... So in my other notes that I have, <laughs> we're gonna be on here all night. I know, and I gotta <laughs> Miss Hillary. Now Carlos and Dr. Heavenly's voice, you better not be allowing the girls to rent a boo. Let me tell y'all something. I don't be knowing whether or not my cast be written relationship. You know there's one person that has a rent a boo. Oh. We talked about that at the reunion. On Love and Marriage DC. You remember uh, at the reunion? You remember Rent a Boo or Rent a Man? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> we can't spoil it. Okay, bye. So, Jamie, um, you were a hot topic on Twitter today. Um, Ashley said that you referred to Cliff Tan as sassy. And you clapped back and said, No, I didn't. Show me the receipts. Oh, I said no like that. And and then Ashley went on reality with the king and subscribe and, and hit the notification button. <laughs> and, she, <laughs> and she and she posted a clip of our interview last year, Jamie Tyler, where you said that Clifton was sassy. So what do you have to say about that? So initially, when Quick and I were going back and forth in scenes as recorded. He kept saying, you called him sassy before. And I said, no, I didn't. My initial thought was on TV. I said, I never called a man sassy on TV. You did. So when she said that on Twitter today, I was still under the mindset of TV. You think I'm thinking about a question you asked me 13 months ago? So when she showed me that, I was like, huh? And I went back and watched it. You asked me if we were talking about episode one with the whole Joy and Ashley Joy speaking at a single mom event. You remember that? Mm -hmm. And you said something. You asked me something about, I guess, Ashley's shady comment. And I said, I know how Clifton is. And I said, and I, on the video, I said he, he could be as sassy like the rest of them, which in my brain is sarcastic, like we're talking about in the suite. He's sarcastic all day long. I knew that. Just know, I didn't. I never called Clifton sassy. But I wasn't saying it malicious. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, That's I actually saying. said that all the cast members at least called yeah, him sassy. I, mean, I, I never called when, him when, sassy. when you talk about he called him sassy, I'm not, I'm not degrading him. I'm saying he's sarcastic. However you want to play with the words, yeah, I said it, but she's saying it malicious like it's it's a it's something wrong with him because uh, he, he had a debate with her in the suite. I was answering your question that he is sarcastic. I know that about him. That, yeah. And we talk, we look at the definition of it. That ain't even a derogatory definition. I'm like, so what? He don't care. I don't care. I'm like, you know, I wasn't saying it to, to, to take a shot at you. Where do we go from here? Because before I wrap things up, and guys, mm -hmm. this season 11 Marriage DC is on fire, as you can tell. Y'all watch every Saturday, 8 o'clock, 7 Central on the Oprah Winfrey Network and hashtag LAMDC. Okay, Linda V. So how does well well dang Linda V. I'm about to get to that. Linda V, are you a a, a psychic raindrop, baby? I was just I, that's gonna be my final question. The raindrop. The raindrop. Well, thank, thank you for your four dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, what's her name again? Is it Linda Linda V? Thank you, baby. No, thank Linda, you, Linda V. Linda is a number one fan too. She no, Linda V is 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 one of my psychic raindrops. We call her. Miss Cleo V, honey. Thank you, Linda V, girl. 
and I support you with your $4.99, honey. Yes. Okay. So how does the cast move on if everyone has a problem with each other? Where do we go from here? Carlos, you might have to step in. Because we've been having these conversations. They did that in Huntsville last year. Yeah, you're going to have to do what you did in Huntsville. In order for this cast to move forward, you're going to have to fly to D.C., sit us, do something. I'm going to fly to D.C., have a realtor, look for me a house in PG, <laughs> in PG County, because I want to be where the rich Black people live. So go ahead. I'm listening. I just, to me, like we've had these conversations over and over and over again. And I just don't see how we can move forward. Right now, it's not good. I mean, we don't want to be in each other's presence at all. And let me chime in. I think my issue is the lack of accountability over on that side. Like, I don't know how we move forward if every time your wife pop off for what, 10, 12, 20 episodes, it don't matter what she right or wrong. You can want to say my wife right, and then I'm not that type of guy. I can't keep on playing these games with people, man. I, I just don't, my energy, my peace is more important than be arguing with y'all for 20 episodes over her attitude. Right. And then and then when he wrong, he got to poke his chest out and I'm this and I'm that. And she going to, it's just too much. Yeah, and we got to grow up. That, 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 yeah, you got to, that whole scene with Lil Jamie should have been 10 minutes. Lil Jamie, my bad. Not all this, as a man, you should have, no, he don't have to. You said it on national TV, he played the game, and then you get mad because he, he said it on Twitter or Instagram or whatever. The man almost 30 years old, you, you can't tell him how to respond to that. It just, to me, it was just a, and you know it was longer than what they showed. It was like, we in here arguing over this dumb stuff, for what? Just say you was wrong. If I, if I spoke on their kids, they'd have been ready to knock my door down. And I said, my bad, I ain't know about it. I would say I would, I would humble myself and move forward. Uh, what I am learning about reality TV, you can have these altercations, but you got to move forward. You got to get to the no, next. No, we have to move forward. Listen. And high school behavior has to go, Carlos. Like, you shouldn't be telling somebody you can't be friends with this person. Oh, you called her first. You didn't come see me first. Like, I can't be around people like that. Well, I think that's the reason why there needs to be a conversation. So apparently... I'm not wearing a robe. I'm wearing a cape because I have to be Superman and fly my ass down to D.C. in PG County, look for a house, then meet with y'all to get the group back together. Because my thing is this. If I can get the Huntsville cast to film together and be good, then I know I can get that for the Tylers and the Silvas because at the end of the day, we have to move forward in order for things to move forward. But I know I that this one means. is going to be a little harder than Huntsville, to be honest. Oh, no, it ain't. Until, until somebody accuses your man of having 20 girlfriends, baby. <laughs> I think until somebody said, roll up to the bar and see where your husband's at. Roll up to the bar. Okay? I think, I think until it's somebody just... says, well, that's why your husband bought so and so a BMW. If oh, Carlos no. Reginald King the first okay. can get those folks okay. to see eye to eye, you and Ashley's beef to me isn't that deep. Now, what I'm going to have to do is remove Jamie from the equation. <laughs> Something's got to happen. I'm going to talk to the girls. I'm going to talk to the girls alone. Okay. Okay. Jamie and little Jamie will be upstairs. And then I will handle Irena and Ashley myself. And who knows? I may be doing this sooner than y'all think. So stay tuned. Anyways, thank you, Jamie and Irena. The first day I met y'all on the Zoom, I knew you two were stars. I love you two immensely. And I thank you two for bringing so much power and presence and excellence and fashion and beauty to the show and mess. So I appreciate you. <laughs> Who's the mess? Not the mess? Who's the mess? Me or her? You well, ask. Jamie, you are Peter Thomas reincarnated. Yeah. So, <laughs> but Irena, Irena is definitely, you know, grand dom in terms of like 
I'm good. Just I'm a killer, but don't push me, baby. Yeah. That's 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 Serena. Like I want all the girls going along because I'm the one who knows how to bring the girls together. But so it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. And you know what's awesome? Yeah, okay. I I have a good track record. Okay. I have a good track record. So I know I have. So I'm gonna take, take my cake. So you can get on board, but now you got to convince Joy and Clifton. And I, I, I will, I will do my job. That's why I'm here, and we owe this to the fans. And at the end of the day, I will do anything for the fans, and I will save this show for the fans. And I know that you two love the fans too. We do. So we are going to do that. Um, thank you two so much. Guys, raindrops every Saturday, 8 o'clock, 7 central. Love and Marriage DC is back. And then we will have a three-part reunion. <clears throat> oh, no have mercy. <sighs> okay. Let me fix my wig on that one. Wig. I'll fix my cape. I love you guys. I love you guys, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye. Love you too, man. Bye.